Hello and welcome back to European Universals 4 as Aragon. <laughs> this is episode 53. We're currently at war with Hedjaz. All that land to convert when France goes into Byzantium. Problem is, I don't know that France will. I don't know. Oh, it's currently using two Diplo a month. Okay. It'll be done in 1800 at this rate. The glorious HD costs them megabytes. Not really. Um, I mean, now that I'm using OBS to record, it's t it's not that much because it used to be for a 30 minute video about 100 or 50 gigabytes. Now it's less than a gigabyte. It's 800 megabytes for that same length and same resolution and, from what I can tell, same quality. And OBS even gives better options. I'm able to add a voice gate, for instance. You defeated France in a war to force them into that union. Yes! Uh, it, it took four episodes and I think 30 years, or f maybe 10 years, maybe 15, I don't know. You can go onto the uh, the YouTube channel and watch it, though. Why, why no Diplo rep to eat France? Because I've needed military ideas to keep up. It's just, it's terrible. I've had to get military ideas, and now I... I can actually get... An idea now. Okay, so influence and diplomatic would be basically the same thing, but we'd want to take diplomatic because it gives the province war score cost minus 20%. Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. It even gives an extra diplomat. I would love an extra diplomat. And when it's done, we can break royal marriages for free. Well, let's do it. And we're just going to focus on that. We're only gaining three diplo a month. We need our king to die. Or our, our queen. How old's our heir? 11. How much money are we making? 24. Let's hire this land maintenance modifier guy. He'll be making us tons of money. Alright, you go there. And you go there. Well, are they willing to accept peace yet? Yeah. Let's add Medina and um, Yanbu to this peace deal. Get the plus two Diplo rep advisor. I don't think we we've checked a couple times. I don't think we have one. No, we don't. Not not yet, at least. We'll get one soon enough. Bavaria re-entered our coalition. So did Austria. Is our truce already up? We haven't fabricated many claims. Let's fabricate one more and start fabricating one more, and then as soon as we can, I guess we'll declare war. This time we'll do a holy war. Man, I don't want to dedicate my troops to that. It's so annoying. That's fine. Alright. Here comes all the coalition buddies. Which I could really do without. Let's put these troops on the Portuguese border. In Anantejo. Get ready to just wreck them. Yep, even more coalition. Can we declare war in Austria yet? We can in the 12th of May. Alright. Now we actually have administrative efficiency, so we'll be able to take more? I guess. Um, let's position these troops in the mountains. I guess we could wait a little bit longer. Everybody that will enter the coalition is in it, I'm sure. So. We won the siege of Jabal Shimar. Okay. We can move on. And as I suspected, I am this this is gonna cost a lot, right? Let's see. If I wanted to take that, yeah, it's a lot of war score that I don't want to spend. Okay, let's see. I could do that, that would give 45 over extension. And it would also give me more ports. If I do this, it gives me... I'm not able to do that. Alright, well I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, uh, that's nice. Okay. Let's convert as many provinces as we can. Five. Okay. 
Now, how much would Hejaz cost to follow next? Uh, it'll be two wars. Once we finish diplomatic ideas, it might be less. Be. Can we set national focus? We can. But should we? Yeah. Diplo power. Because we're filling out ideas and integrating France. Iroquois wants peace. They want to concede defeat. Well, it depends, Iroquois. What do you want to do? You're not that sieged up. And I don't have any diplomats to send. Now I do. Do you have any money? You don't have that much money. Do you have any nations to release? Do you have any treaties to annul? Not really any good treaties. Well, I'll just take some war operations in your money, I guess. And as for Great Britain, are you willing to peace? Probably not. It'll be 80 days till I find out anyway. Eh. Oh, Wales. Wales is independent. I guess they have been for a little bit. They would accept a peaceful vassalization. They wouldn't want to do that. Alright, Brunei has started to become westernized. We have cored Istria, finally. Okay. No unrest in Istria. Still not enough to lower autonomy if we wanted to. No unrest in Alexandria. Okay. So I guess that we'll check and see if we can peace out with Great Britain. This is the reconquest of Malisit, which they do have sieged. They won't here soon. We can always peace out with them during this war. The only problem is we're going to be at war with New Portugal, which is a pain. We're going to be at war with all of Portugal. Oh shit, our colonial nation is getting wrecked down here. Completely and utterly wrecked. I've never tried it, but is Ireland at all viable in EU4? Uh, yeah. Ireland's fine. I don't know, they're... If you're going to play as an Irish miner, conquer Scotland as soon as you can. Ally France, and at that... Pick on England when they're weak. Or you can do what a lot of people do and just exodus yourself to, to North America. So, who do we mark as a co-belligerent? Ulm? We can mark Ulm as a co-belligerent. We should. I plan on actually fighting in this war and winning. Move your capital to the Caribbean. Good, good. Ireland is good for that. Hmm. So, hmm. What do I want this for? I want, I want these provinces, these three: Baden, Bresigau, and Sundgau. You can join the HRE as an Irish OPM. Okay, that's. I'm sure you can, but I can't imagine it'd be all too easy. All right, so we can mark. We can't mark Portugal because we have, we have an extended truce with them because we took 4,000 ducats from them. Silesia, well I don't really want to take any land from Silesia. I don't really want to take any land from Ruthenia quite yet. I'd rather a, uh, a, our own war for that. So we're going to mark Ulm as a co-belligerent because we're going to force convert them. Saxony has a lot of allies, but I think all of them are going to be in the war. Most of them will be. So we'll mark Saxony. Saxony. So Ulm, Saxony. Is that it? Siena. I would love to finally get rid of Siena. So we'll mark Siena. Oh, but they're 10 base tax, so that's going to be 40 over extension. And it's going to cost a lot to court. Well, I guess that's just going to have to happen. Move capital to East Frisia? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. We could use the, uh, we could use that little exploit where you 100% an OPM and you can take whatever you want. I think we'll do that. We'll just forcibly remove Sienna's existence and, uh, use that to destroy 
some people. Alright, so we're gonna have to siege Baden, Bresigau, and Sundgau. I don't care what else gets sieged, what else happens in this war. Let's march up here, maybe we can even assault him. Assault them. By the way, hello Dictato, I uh... I've seen you around. Quite a lot, actually. Uh, are you a moderator on some streams? Do you stream yourself? I, I've forgotten exactly where I remember you from. Okay, we need to... Alright, we've got that stack there. Maybe we should bring the other stack down there, too. Or no, we'll, we'll line them up at to roll. I think 27 infantry should be enough to assault. Ooh, let's avoid these rebels if we can. A great synod. We could lose patriarch authority and gain stability, but we're already at 100 stability. Well, 3 stability. And we're almost full on Patriarch Authority. We'll, we'll get that achievement soon. It's one achievement that I don't have. So these guys are just looting France's provinces. You don't play far too much in U4. You don't have much to do after school. And you are mute. Okay. It's all good. I just thought I saw you around. Thought you were a moderator on some streams or something. Alright. Karakyalna declared war in Persia. They cite cleansing of heresy. So. Okay. Once they get on this province, they're not taking attrition. The supply limit here is exactly 62. Let's wait for the uh, monthly tick. I like military thinkers. I like military thinkers. All right, we have converted some heretics, and the game is kind of loud now. But uh, looking at OBS's levels, it's fine. Send out our missionaries. All right. For whatever reason, is Austria at war? Yeah, they are, against Great Britain. 13 Colonial Reconquest of Pennacook. Um... Pennacook? Pennacook? I thought I lived in America. Oh, right, that's, uh... They'd be against, yeah, New Portugal. So these guys are occupied. Occupado. Alright, take the month. We recovered 4,000 men, which is considerable. Now we're going to holy war these dudes. Japan is defender of the Catholic faith and will protect them. <laughs> uh, oh right, we're going to be holy warring Siena. Okay. Hey there, Tudor. Let's wreck this army because we need to. You go there. Wait a day for everybody to join. I'm sorry, Japan? Yeah, Japan is the defender of the Catholic faith. Alright, their fort level here is 3. We're outnumbering them 10 to 1, which I don't really think is enough to assault. So let's make it, uh, let's make it 20 to 1, shall we? Let's raise our odds. How dare they forsake glorious Shinto? Oh, yeah, man. Alright, merge them and assault! Okay. We lost a couple troops, but it's fine. At least I assume. Oh, as for down here, wow! We don't outnumber them nearly enough. We're going to Bresigo? That's not good. We want to go to Bresigo. So what exactly is your purpose in this game at the moment? Uh, Justinian's Borders. Come on, 15th of May. There we go.
Assault. Maybe we didn't have the morale for that. Whatever. We're being attacked in Siena by noble rebels, and we are lagging a little bit. Alright. So after we're done assaulting up here, we're going to run down to Siena and assault that, and we'll be able to peace out instantly for these three provinces. And we might even be able to force convert Siena in the process. Alright, so we'll wait for the monthly tick so we get some morale, because that's actually mattering in this siege. Or in these assaultings. It'll give us a little bit of attrition. Let me actually recovered men. <laughs> Alright. So let's assault. Now that we're at full morale. And we've won the siege of Sundgau. Okay. Now we're going to go down to Siena, and we're going to instantly peace out of this war. Because EU4. I probably shouldn't have marked any co or I didn't mark any co -belligerence. That's right, because I declared war on Siena. Alright, as long as they don't assault anything up here, while I'm trying to assault Siena, I'll be fine. Let's see, these guys are going to Niederbayern, so they're not... Okay, they're they're moving away. People are slowly trickling into the war effort, but uh, they won't do anything to stop us. Okay, 72 men, assault! You can do it. The monthly tick gave us an extra 2,000 infantry. And there we go, we now have 100% war score in that coalition war. So now, we will force convert Siena. Force religion for 16 war score and take three provinces for 40 over extension which will actually put us over an over extension cap won't it no it won't okay well we're gonna do that and we're gonna take Siena's money and make them annul we won't make them annulling treaties because that's there's no point I guess war reparations all right Siena is now orthodox, and we have gained three provinces. And we have 84 over extension. Let's uh, convert more provinces. Merge this army, split it in half. Half go to Ancona, the other half go to Rome. Yep. Now, as for Great Britain, let's wait today. They would love to peace out of this war. They know they can't gain anything, so let's take all their money. And make them cancel Meekmac as a protectorate. Yep. Okay. So now, let's course from this land we have converted. So Al Karak is one of those, yep. Sinai is another one. Uh, Tama is another one. Yanbu. Jeddah. And the rest are, well, they need to be converted. When does this truce run up with the Jazz? 1726. Mamluk truce, already up. Let's go. Political crisis. We could lose some legitimacy or prestige? Stability. Stability. Alright, well, we have lazy diplomats. We can fabricate. We lost some. Or we didn't lose any claims, we just can fabricate new ones and know that we gain more land. So we're going to do that. Do the Memlooks. Now we'll claim more from Hejaz, I guess. I probably should have. Well, it's not like it costs that much to core, but. It's nice to have the claims. Okay, Jabal Shamar. We'll go up, down. We'll from. Yeah, up to down. Yeah. We're not annexing France right now, right? We're not. Can we build more forts? I feel like more forts would be more useful than no forts.
There we go. Maybe some of these in Italy too. Ten Isles. Yep. How's the culture conversion of Rome going? You've gained cleansing of heresy on Denmark? Uh, did they colonize? Near us? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> in Byzantium. What do you mean, in Byzantium? Okay, we've converted more provinces, so let's start quarrying them. Suez, uh, Man, I believe, yep, and Tabuk. Bedouin patriots are about to rise. Oh, we can convert more provinces, let's do it. And now we will... Ah, uh, we got a lot of cores going. <laughs> grain. Never have enough grain. <laughs> okay. So cut this army in half because we are taking attrition. Besides North Africa, is there really anything you need to reach your goal? Uh, England. We also need some more land from Austria. And some land over here. But other than that, no. And no, I have a different game going for World Conquest. This one... This one was just started for fun. And also as a way to kick off my YouTube channel. Alright. And it worked perfectly, this this series. Okay, convert the heretics of Baden. We have done it. We can't core it, though. What do you play as for World Conquest? Uh, the one I'm doing right now is as Austria. I, mean, I used the HRE exploit, where you could vastly, you could revoke the privilegia, which is this reform, in like 15 years or something. Something similar to that. Well, this has been a kind of long episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment if your feelings are more complicated than that. And have a good day. Goodbye.